I think we've done three or four sessions out of 14 or 15. So at that pace, this is going to be a five-hour webcast uh, unless uh, session moderators don't join in. If there are session moderators out there from any session, come on in. We've got space in the Hangout. If there are participants who are especially eager to uh, join the Hangout and either share questions or comments, feel free to do so. Those Hangout links should get you in here. Um, any browser will work. Uh, Chrome will work better uh, mm -hmm. in general, but especially for Hangouts. Uh, and I see people jumping in. Hello, Susan, and hello, uh, I guess, and Leticia. Le Leticia, yeah. Huh? And hello, Hi, Ayat. Susan. Hello, Leticia. All right. She's we know with how to the fill PLN in. group. Hello. Oh, why don't we move on to the PLN group? Tell us about the PLN group. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sorry, actually, to, to interrupt, did, uh, did we finish becoming a webheads? Did we have more moderators join or anything else? Um, yes, well, I've just got Teresa's mail that she's going to join Illuminate. She didn't, uh, she has never tried Google Plus, so she, can she say something via Illuminate? I'm not quite sure. She will be joining Illuminate very soon. Okay, but she's in the Hangout. Is she? Uh, now, at the moment, because I can't, sorry. This is, I'm sorry, this is Aya? No, you she's talking about the Teresa. Oh, uh, Teresa. I'm talking about yeah. Teresa. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she yeah. will join Illuminate. Uh, so I, I see know. her in Illuminate, but we're going to make her join a Hangout. Come on, Teresa, okay. you can do it. <laughs> I'm just going to send <laughs> her the link spirit. via email. I'll, I'll go and help her. <laughs> okay, good. You know, being a webhead isn't easy. You can never rest. Oh. You never get there. You're never yes, done. Yes, so uh, maybe I should... Uh... Oh, I suspect the rest of that sentence was going to be step out of the Hangout. Uh, uh, and we lost uh, Marissa. Um, who wants to jump in next? I'm sorry, I had started with La Leticia. Why don't you uh, join in? Tell us about your session. Leticia, are you there? Yes, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, okay. So it's a um, great pleasure for, for me to be here. It's the second year. Uh, we've been um, uh, moderating the PLE and PLN, PLN session um, since last year with uh, Susan Berg. Um, Daniela Cucurullo uh, and of course Sandra was our angel and uh, um, so last year we had 150 participants and uh, so it was uh, a great success we were very satisfied and uh, um, and so uh, it's a great honor for, for us to repeat this experience um, so this year too um, and so the we we uh, we are sponsored by it is lately because uh, uh, we, uh, Daniela, Susan, and, and me, uh, and I, we are all from, from Italy, uh, and um, so uh, it's uh, last year was the first year that um, Tisa Italy was a uh, um, part of uh, taking part in, uh, uh, in EVO, so we are very proud of that. So the um, uh, the session is um, um, will be um, that will be our first um, uh, let's say theoretical uh, part about what is the, the framework the theoretical framework it's a very short part actually um, where we just um, want to lead our participants um, to reflect about this uh, uh, topic which is uh, one of the latest. Um, uh, topic of the research nowadays uh, and um um, so, trying to reflect on what is the meaning, what, what the meaning of uh, PLE, PLN is, actually is uh, an evolving um, concept, an evolving term. So we don't have um, uh, 
only one uh, fixed definition, but uh, it's um, uh, um, a continuous evolution uh, because it's um, the concept is uh, just like um, uh, associated to the idea of distribution of uh, um, um, learn uh, learner. So it's a sort of uh, a learner centered because um, uh, it's what the uh, all the, uh, the the tools that uh, the uh, our students can use to uh, focus uh, to build up their own learning process. So it's very dynamic. Um, and um, so we're going to um, show examples of uh, diagrams of um, so what has been produced about PL, uh, PL, PLE in these latest years. Uh, but at the same time, we're going to um, um, to, to guide, to lead our participants uh, to build up their own learning environment. And um, so this is uh, what our students can, can do. Uh, instead of um, 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 just um, uh, use single resources like um, libraries, like so books or learning management systems, so um, just um, isolated resources, in a PLN, in, a, in a um, personal learning environment, they, they could um, just associate, just uh, um, uh, choose and so select and uh, integrate what they need, all the tools that they, they could need to build up their learning um, process, their learning path. Uh, and, um, and so we're going to help our uh, participants um, to build up their own learning, uh, personal learning environment. And uh, in the second part of the, the session, we uh, we will reflect on the difference between uh, pers personal learning environment, personal learning network. So while personal learning environment is um, um, uh, associated to the um, personal um, uh, world, so what um, uh, a learner can use uh, to build up his or own uh, learning path in, inside his or own world let's say. Um, the personal learning um, network is associated to the idea of um, relationship with other people. So it's a social, the social world. Um, so uh, integrated formal and informal, this is a very important aspect. Uh, so not only institutional, so not only formal learning, but also informal. And um, so uh, personal learning um, uh, network is um, what we can do to um, um, connect, to stay in touch with other people with other uh, um, institution other organization other um, so what is the outside world uh, which is um, uh, can be helpful to um, increase uh, and uh, uh, so go on in, in our learning process uh, and um, so the the, the end um, mm, uh, the the final step uh, I mean the goal uh, will be uh, the sharing um, of uh, personal learning um, uh, environments uh, built up by our participants and uh, so that we can collect uh, that, that um, this is what we we did last year collecting all personal learning environments built up by our participants and um, uh, the, yes the tools that we were going to use uh, mainly we have the wiki which is the um, uh, which contains our uh, syllabus and uh, is a sort of uh, agenda uh, and then um, uh, the, the course is built is um, built up in in Moodle, so we have a, a Moodle platform where uh, participants can join, uh, and uh, of course. A week uh, a week per week uh, will uh, open up new uh, materials uh, and then of course we are um, leading our participants in uh, the um, exp in, in so through the the web 2.0 uh, so exploring um, different uh, sort of uh, uh, tools um, uh, of the web 2.0 which can be useful in the um, construction the building of the personal learning environment um, uh, maybe Sandra can can Sandra Sandra can uh, Sandra and Susan can um, tell us something more about uh, our our session okay thank you I'll defer to Susan I'll let her talk so go ahead Susan <coughs> okay thanks can you see me hear me yeah. I hope so Okay. Well, I'm working with two Italians again this year, uh, Letizia and Daniela. And um, 
we're working together on personal learning environments to create uh, new networks environments like Letizia explained so well. And that's it. I'd like to just say hello to the group. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to this session. I think it'll be a great session. And um, um, we have a lot of Italians who have joined this year. We have a lot of uh, a big, uh, a big group of Italian participants, so it should be interesting. And that's all I have to say because Letizia, you did a really good job. <laughs> okay, great. Nice to talk to you. Bye bye. Thank you, Susan. Uh, and did is there anything else we wanted to mention about the the PLN or PLE session? If not. Mbarak, I think, wanted to I chime wanted in to, about... I just, Jeff, I, oh, okay. I just wanted to mention that the uh, PLE-PLN session is taking place in a Moodle. So it's also an opportunity to, to learn a little bit of, more about how Moodles work and, and how they can create community. And just as I mentioned Mbarak, I believe we lost him. Um, but Ayat? I'm sorry, how do I pronounce your name has joined us? I believe you are muted, but if you wanted to share your thoughts on, on whatever session, please feel free to unmute yourself and say hello. G'day guys, um, no idea personal learning networks, what, uh, what's, what's it about? Um, I'm curious, are, are you aware of EVO? This, this Hangout is being used for a webcast. Uh, it's a professional development uh, session for language teachers. Uh, I'm curious, how did you come across this Hangout? Um, it's live in the My Hangouts on Google Chrome. Interesting, in My Hangouts. Uh, uh, in any event, what I would suggest that you do is tune into the webcast part of this, and I'll put that okay. address into the Hangout chat. And you can uh, tune in there and get a feel for what we're talking about. Um, and if you'd like to join in later, uh, feel free. Sounds Oops. good. Uh, I think that was the wrong address. Yeah, no, that's right. Webheads in action. Webheads in action. And if you look around that site, you'll see information about uh, what's going on. All right. And uh, Ayat, you have uh, rejoined us. Hello. All right, we're, we're not hearing you yet. Uh, feel free to keep trying. Um, and in the meantime, we have uh, space in the Hangout if there are moderators standing. Oh, Teresa, how's Teresa doing? If you can't join the Hangout, Teresa, we'll figure out how to get you in via Illuminate. But, you know, you got to hang out. Jeff, um, I'm showing in the video session uh, in in Illuminate, but my mic was uh, muted up until now. That's another feature of, of Hangout to uh, describe. The video goes to whoever is speaking, but right now you'll see I'm speaking, but on the webcast, I'm not being shown because it shows everyone except you. If I want to show myself when I'm speaking, I have to click on myself. And you'll notice a little green outline around my thumbnail now. Uh, and it's going to be locked on me no matter who speaks until I click that again. Um, and so you must have been the person who had the floor last, and so it got stuck on you. Welcome back, Ayat. Can you hear us? Can you say hello? I'll take that as a no, and we'll say hello to Nina. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Glad to see hello. you all. I just managed to I join, managed to join, but I hear echo. 
Are what you still listening do? somewhere else? Are you listening in Illuminate or on the webcast? Uh, yes, I have to. You have to mute that sound. Well, mm -hmm. Do that. Well, that, that's better. Well, okay. Now I, I don't hear any echo, so it's okay. Great to see you all. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, would you like me to talk about digital tools in the classroom? Yes, please. Okay, I see that I am alone today, um, otherwise there are so many co-moderators in our group. Uh, Carolina is uh, at her vacation, uh, Cherlo also is busy this time, Erika Krunel, you know, also busy. Uh, so it happens that I am alone, but it doesn't matter. Our team is very uh, nice and we do our best uh, to give our participants as much as possible. So digital tools in the classroom is uh, very life. And Nina, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can hear me or not. Uh, my hangout is uh, freezing. And this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, I'm going to step out of the Hangout and try to rejoin. Uh, I may have to close my browser, which would be even a bigger problem. Uh, I think there's some application sharing going on in Illuminate, which my computer has not been very happy about. Um, and if, if one of the mods in the Illuminate could perhaps discourage that or uh, stop that. And indeed, it does look like my Chrome is going to die, which may kill the stream. We'll see. Uh, in any event, this is going to be a nice little uh, break. <laughs> Hello, Laban. Hello, Ayat. Hello. Hello. Glad you Can made you it in. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I'm finally here. <laughs> Great. Glad you made it. Yes. Yeah. So I transcribed in the presentation. I was following him since. Where are you? Can you hear me, anybody? Yes, we hear you. I, yeah, I'm from uh, from Saudi Arabia. Great. And Ayat, we were able to hear you, finally. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's been a great session, the kickoff. Uh, and I'm looking forward to sharing with... Uh, it, it looks like you froze a little bit. We lost your audio there, Lawan. So you were able to hear me, Jeff? Yes. Thank you. At last minute. Congratulations. This is the webhead spirit. Keep trying until it works. Yes, right. <laughs> and Tuba. Um, hi. Hey, Tuba. Long time Google Plus friend. Nice to see you in person. Yeah, nice to see you. I'm um, sorry I'm late. Um, but uh, I'm happy to join you. Uh, I'm glad you made it in, and uh, I just want to say hello to others who've joined us. Uh, D Smart, are you here for EVO or something else? Oh, great. Your your audio is coming in very low. Just because I'm in spring. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would explain it. Okay, we'll be quiet. Uh, and hello, Fernanda. And hello, Mariana. Now, Mariana, you're some kind of session moderator, aren't you? Hi. Can you? 
about him. Yes, uh, we already talked about becoming yes. a vapor 2012, yes. but I'm glad that my one most of my commodities joined. So I would like to, uh, Yat or Fernanda, she's a coordinator of Bo 2012, to say something more about becoming a vapor, if you please. Fernanda, are you able to speak? I'll take that as a no. Hello? Hello, we hear you. Hello. Hi, Fernanda. Hello, everybody. This is a great confusion. I have a Google Handout, Illuminate, and uh, <laughs> I don't know whatever, so I hear everyone. <laughs> three times ah what you what you probably want to do is mute the illuminate so the speaker in illuminate you want to move it all the way to the left the volume control in which of the environment in illuminate in the bottom left you have the speaker yes, and the microphone that's if I do that I stopped hearing anyone do you still hear me You don't hear us in the Hangout? Oh. Uh, there's an echo, Jeff, probably. Uh, it sounded like there. she was getting an echo, but I don't know if she was actually getting audio from the Hangout. Wow, people are dropping like flies. <laughs> uh, so we lost Fernanda. All right, well, hopefully they'll come back while we're waiting. Tuba. What, Hi. I, 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 I'm aware of you on, on Google+. Plus. You're a, a, an active social media person uh what is this your first evo yes yes uh -huh. thank you for letting me join us uh, thank you for sharing this opportunity i'm glad any thoughts any questions confusions um well it, is is this session started earlier what time did it start this started well about two and a half hours ago Okay. Uh, but, you know, the webheads never sleep. We may make this our first 24-hour session. Yes. And hello, Ludmila. Hello, Jeff. Uh, I had trouble to get in. Hey. Well, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> yes, I did. I don't see Nellie. Is Nellie here? Uh, she stopped by briefly, but haven't uh -huh. seen her in a while. Ah, okay. So I, I had a morning jog with the dog. Sorry, and I couldn't miss it. <laughs> and uh, so I'm back, and I had trouble to get in. Uh, what kind of trouble? Uh, I was on Google Chrome, and uh, it said plug in is not working, and I heard the noise. I joined in, heard the noise of uh, probably Google Talk or something, and had to restart my computer, so that's why I am a little bit late. Hmm. Yeah, an hour late. <laughs> well. But I'm glad to be here, and uh, so what uh, is discussed? Uh, uh, we're kind of just going around talking about different sessions. Uh, we have not talked about Moodles for teach Moodle for teachers at all. Perhaps you can okay. tell us a bit yeah, about that session. Way. Okay, so Moodle for teachers. We have been doing workshops uh, on. Moodle for teachers for quite a while. Uh, we trained probably more than 2,000 teachers, educators from all over the world. And uh, uh, Moodle for teachers is a workshop. Uh, usually it's um, four or five week uh, workshop. And depending on the level of our participants, we um, offer different levels for the beginners for intermediate advanced moodlers and uh, well we assume that it will be from what I see on the discussion forum uh, most of the participants are beginners and I, I'm happy to see that we have people from all over the world uh, from um, uh, from Canada, from Germany, from uh, Uzbekistan, uh, Russia, uh, from Canada, Australia, so quite a few. 
And uh, today we are having our first with IQ session, and we will discuss with students see uh, what the level most of uh, the Moodlers are. But according to the questions that they post on the discussion forum on Moodle, uh, I feel like we have more of a, a beginner's session. So it would be fun to introduce to the tools, activities, um, uh, resources that Moodle can provide. And also the main thing is uh, to to share our philosophy, not teaching but facilitating. Um, that's our approach. And we let our participants explore on their own, but we are kind of a facilitators <laughs> on the side, uh, giving, involving uh, in their uh, active exploration. And every um, we will make up groups and uh, participants will be exploring tools together and uh, sharing is there an, their... I'm sorry for interrupting. Is there yeah. an opportunity yeah. for people to administer uh, their own Moodle? Uh, they will. They will all have uh, sandboxes, so they will be exploring tools. Uh, yes, yes. They they will be exploring uh, tools using sandboxes. But in in the beginning, we will first introduce share and show uh, through snapshots, through uh, screencasting, sharing screen uh, screens, and, and then they will be uh, trying those tools out. And yeah. as a Moodle expert, I'm just curious, what is your best recommendation for a teacher who wants to use Moodle, doesn't have much money, if any, uh, what site or resource can they use to, to Moodle? Well, uh, first of all, they can join our IT for All. Uh, site, but, and that, by the way, there are a lot of um, sites that they can join. Um, Moodle.org, they can also join um, a lot of Moodle Moot um, sites. Uh, there are quite a few uh, Moodle sites that they can join, um, but Moodle Rooms uh, provide uh, services, and uh, so Moodle actually f uh, free. Uh, but uh, to explore it, uh, they can join uh, some some of the sites that they provide services, and they learn, uh, then learn, and uh, and then explore those tools. All right, sounds good. And Nelly uh, is here. She was uh, trying to get into the old hangout, so sh she may be stopping by momentarily. Okay. And in the meantime, I want to welcome back Elizabeth. Sorry to uh, to have our little hangout crash there, but we we survived. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, I wondered, what... I wondered what was happening there. <laughs> that's kind of, of unusual we for a hangout. Talking among ourselves. <laughs> were you talking amongst yourselves? Yes, we were talking, but we weren't streaming into Illuminate. So, which which is what's supposed to happen thing. with a hangout, where if one person drops out, it doesn't yeah. matter who started, but the hangout keeps going. Um, yeah. But when I tried to access that Hangout again, it was telling me it was closed. Yeah, um, yeah. and Nelly was doing her introduction to two of us. So. Oh, so <laughs> but sorry. But she Nelly. has not popped back in here. So well, she was I trying to join the old one. I just and somebody uh, is calling me. I don't know oh. who. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's not uh, Nelly. Nelly opened her own. <laughs> yeah. I, I wanted to mention, uh, Jeff, you had an earlier question about using Moodle. There is a um, web teacher tools uh, uh, website that lets you open your own Moodle just very quickly and easily. So it's a great place to uh, experiment with that. I'll, I'll try and look up the address for you. Thank you. Um, before we, um, I would like to uh, leave the uh, Google uh, Hangout. It's been a pleasure. Uh, before I do that, I just want to send greetings from Teresa, the coordinator, one of the coordinators of BO 2012. She couldn't join us in uh, Google Hangout, so she said hello. And um, uh, Fernanda and Larissa are the, the two of who... Uh, Larissa actually said something about that, and uh, Fernanda was here, but uh, something probably happened. So uh, here is uh, Mariana. 
and I'm saying hello and a lot of greetings and warm greetings from Croatia and uh, all the participants, welcome to EVO 2012. You will have a great, great time here, I'm sure. Thank you so much, Mariana. You were, you were the, you were hello, the first. Hello, Jeff. I would like to ask a question to uh, Mira. Yes. Is it possible? Yes, she talked about having the first session of a uh, module for teachers today on WIS IQ. What's the time? Is, is it there? Uh, yeah. I'm terrible uh, because I've not seen it. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, at 4 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. Okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Welcome. And I would uh, love do to you get, happen, I'm sorry. I, I was just going to ask you if you knew the time in GMT, 4 o'clock Eastern time, any idea? It's uh, 3, it's 3 in GMT and it's 4 here in Croatia, almost 15 minutes to 3. It's 15 minutes to 3 GMT, so like 15 minutes more till we finish. If it is. So 1500 GMT? In 15 minutes, yes. So that, that's important. I had I had heard that it was in the Eastern Time USA, but it was Euro European time, East European time. So it's important to speak in GMT. Yes, yes, it is, uh, uh, Vance, certainly. Okay, so bye, everybody. See you in Evo. Thanks so much. Uh, I would love I, to get. I do have to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you were able to Thank join you. in, Lawan. Good to see you, and uh, have a great EVO. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd love to get a few words in from Teresa. I feel like we cannot have an EVO launch without a few words from Teresa. Uh, and so what I can do is uh, put the Illuminate audio, stop speaking and Illuminate, give Teresa the floor. So those of us in the Hangout won't hear her, but I think most of us are in the Illuminate anyway, so we can hear her there. Is that okay with everybody? I'll take that as an okay, I guess. Uh, all right, I'm going to stop talking in uh, uh, Illuminate Teresa, so the floor is yours. Oh, the anticipation. Oh, oh, my bad. Twice maybe at the um, at the end. Uh, anyway, I would like to say that we have a great team in becoming a webhead. We have everything prepared. I know that they've said a lot about uh, the session, so no need for me to say anything else. Jeff, uh, Teresa but is speaking I would just in like Illuminate, say, where uh, we are that all I muted, hope so everything this is going to be a problem. Uh, I don't know if she has figured out in, that you can't speak in that year. part of the, uh, and, the universe. Um, good luck to everyone, okay? And Jeff, thank you for having me here, for making this exception. Bye-bye. And thank you, Teresa. And my personal goal for EVO 2012 is getting Teresa into a Google Hangout. I will not rest until it happens. Uh, okay, so uh, here we are. Welcome back, Tuba. Is that how I pronounce your name? Wow, she's here twice. Extra credit. Uh, and again, we, we have plenty of space in the Hangout. Uh, I know Nelly is trying to get in. I'm not sure why she is unable to do so. Uh, if there are other session moderators who would like to join in, please do so. I will put that link in there one more time. This is the Hangout link.
Uh, and if there are participants who just kind of want to say hello, try out a Hangout, have any questions or comments, feel free to join in as well. Sure, I'd sure, like to I'd just like test out the old microphone here. here. Um, uh, David Smart, uh, just a member of uh, the EVO, first time, newbie, coming from uh, Ballantyne, Colombia. So how do I sound anyways? Um, okay, headsets make a lot of difference. Uh, we're getting some reverb. Uh, okay, there's nothing I can do with the setup then. Eh? Right. Um, there is an echo cancellation option in Google Hangout. If you click settings, uh, well, there used to be an echo cancellation. You could also turn the speaker down when you're talking. So we're hearing the sound from, you know, if you could turn off the speaker somehow and then turn it back on when you went to listen. Uh, that might cancel out as well. Okay, I think it might be easier if I just uh, find a headset and plug in. <laughs> but thanks. Welcome. Which, which sessions are you participating in? Uh, I'm, I'm with the uh, storytelling kids and uh, multi intelligences. Multi literacies? Yeah, sorry, multi literacies. Yeah. Well, you know, Vance is Mr. Multi-Literacies. Do you have any questions for him? Yeah, Multi-Intelligences is okay, but we don't talk about that aspect that, that much. It's funny. I was just reading about it. And I'm taking an uh, online master's program, and uh, it's all about research. And one of the things that came up and as an example is the multi-intelligences. It's, it's been uh, discussed a lot amongst us teachers uh, here in Columbia. Well, anyways, back to the multi-literacies. Uh, um, I'm looking forward to both the uh, storytelling and, uh, and, of course, your uh, program. Well, look, I'm going to mute out, and I'm going to look around at my desk to see if I can find a headset. Okay? Sounds good. Thanks for coming. Glad you could join us. Yeah. All right, and at this point, as we're approaching the official end of our two-hour session, uh, why don't we call it a last call? Although I know North, the Americas are just waking up, so we may get people joining in. And if people are just joining in, feel free to uh, stop into the Hangout uh, and say hello. Sandra, I want to say welcome back and sorry for uh, dropping out of the earlier Hangout. I tried to get back in, but I couldn't. Did Laura Stoutenberg manage to say anything in the Hangout? She's in the Illuminate chat. She said that her video link isn't working, but hello from the Developing Mentoring Skills Group. Well, we speaking of group Laura, this year and are very excited to get started. Uh, apparently, go. it started working. Hello, Laura. All right. Nice cool. introduction, Vance. Yes, there you are. And, and we welcome now Laura Stoutenberg. How are you? We don't see you or hear you yet, Laura, but we're looking forward to it. There is an apology showing up in, <laughs> in Illuminate. Laura's going to work on the problem today, so I guess that means she may not be coming to this session here in the Hangout. But and the, the first start. things you can do to troubleshoot if you're in the Hangout is click Settings and that will pop up the little window that lets you choose a different webcam or a different microphone. Uh, so if you haven't already given that a try, you might want to do so. Okay. Sorry to butt in there. How does that sound better? So much better. Yay, headsets. So, David, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you're experiencing so far? Um, <laughs> how is the session going, or have you have you started the introductions? Uh, I'm just getting my feet wet. I just thought I'd pop in, see how this technology works. Um, I'm just amazed that I have high speed here in Colombia. As you know, Colombia is uh, still part of the third world in a way, but we're getting farther and farther along as far as technology is concerned. Hopefully uh, other uh, amenities will become 
uh, accessible to more of the population soon. How did you hear about EVO? Oh, um, I have a friend that I'm connected with various ways, you know, Google+, Plus, uh, linked, um, you name it, social network, Facebook, whatever. And uh, she she hooked me up. She let me know about it, and I thought, oh, wow. I mean, I'm all about uh, IT uh, integrating uh, technology and education. I mean, that's part of my master's program. And uh, so I'd like to learn as much as I can from colleagues, basically. You know, this whole uh, video conferencing thing, this is something I used to talk to about. Uh, with friends 15, 20 years ago, uh, and the argument was that it would never be affordable. <laughs> well, you can't beat the price. Yeah, yeah it's amazing how yeah, easy it is. Good. <laughs> oh, I love free. Yeah. Well, the other interesting thing is that uh, I'm on a Wi Fi, one of my computers is getting very low bars and my new Mac is getting total bars and yet both of them are able to operate off this one Wi-Fi system and I'm seeing beautiful color video on my my Mac and you know everything seems to be working I, it's just unbelievable <laughs> that a few been, years ago this yeah. we'd have even more problems <laughs> than we had today it would yeah. have been impossible that has been my experience as well it's just it feels light uh, it's even compared to Skype I mean Skype, you can do one-on-one -on -one video, and you get a lot of circling nothing. And if you try to the multi-camera premium service, it's it, it just feels heavy. And this, uh, you know, we we complain. Oh, gee, this free video conferencing thing that lets us talk to everyone around the world crashed. It took me two minutes to get back on. But you know, those are nice complaints to have. Here, here. Um, Antonella, welcome. Are you able to say hello? Scaring people away again. And Laura? It's, just, it's your voice, Jeff. I guess so. <laughs> I think Laura is back. So yeah, I'm scared to ask Laura, video. but are you, are you able to speak? Laura, can you hear us? Wow. Uh, Dan, I'd you've like been to... muted, so you, you'll you have to unmute yourself. Uh, just let you know the way it works here. <laughs> now, I'll raise my hand to speak next. Please do. Oh, I was going to say we have about five more minutes as our timed event. Of course, we can go on uh, more, but I did want to say I'm not sure if um, Mr. Smart, I was trying to ask he's a, if he's a participant or not, if he can add his chat box over here in Google+. Plus. I was trying to send him some messages. But I, I did want to say I've been part of the social media evangelism to get the word out uh, across the globe for this uh, electronic village online and if he's coming from Colombia I for example I invited the embassy folks that are part of the relos the regional English language officers from Colombia and from Peru and also from uh, Hong Kong these are some of the people that I met at TESOL and they were interested in in the electronic village online so I'm hoping I've heard also from our pod, I joined the podcasting session that they have a lot of Peruvian uh, participants this year. So I'm thinking, well, maybe this is, you know, uh, from my social media contacts with their, uh, their embassy there. So I hope it's, we're spreading the word and more and more participants will uh, uh, participate this year. That's all. Yeah, we do have a 
lot of South American participants, partly because of Carla Arena's good uh, recruiting and, and uh, from Brazil and Argentina, Peru, uh, and now some from Colombia. That's that's just great. I hope we can hit all of the countries uh, as the as the infrastructure is built up. It's really getting easier and easier to to do this. It's it's fascinating to see how much we have advanced in the. 10 years since we first started the EVO. Yet, yet Yahoo Groups is still the, uh, the standard means of communication. And I'm curious, is that for merits of functionality, nostalgia, or something in between? <laughs> well, um, on, on behalf of, of my <laughs> part of the coordinators, we always urge people to do it because it's so easy for beginners to set it up and get involved in it. I think Vance would have another take on this because he likes to use the cutting edge tools. But the Yahoo Mail uh, is so good, you can adjust it so you have a daily digest, you get to see what everybody's saying. If you go to a, a interface like Moodle, you can join a forum or not join a forum, and if you join one and like it, you may never look at any of the other forums in, in Moodle. So it's kind of like Yahoo Mail is, is messy, but it encompasses everything, and you can look at it in threads if you go to your, to your website and look at it. So there, it has, still has a lot of advantages in spite of being a little retarded for some of you cutting edge <laughs> folks. <laughs> Why did you say I, something about it, Vance? Yeah, I think I use it because of its merits of uh, functionality. Um, it's, it's very good. Um, I, I still use it. At, at one point, I, <laughs> I um, moved into Grouply. I moved a lot of content from our Ning into Grouply. <laughs> and that sort of say, tied in with the Yahoo groups. The Grouply uh, never was very comfortable, although it does have some aspects of Ning. But it is if some people like it. So if you um, you can go to your Yahoo groups via Grouply if you like that Ning uh, aspect. But um, like Yahoo groups, I think it's uh, uh, you know I've maintained uh, multiple literacies Yahoo group for a long time, and the web has Yahoo group is just working fine. So. Um, you know, if it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, and, and they ain't broke at all. Is it archivable? Uh, you know, I'd Yahoo. I, I hope they stick around. Uh, you know, we we got to give them props for the roles they've played. But if if Yahoo Groups disappears, does that whole archive disappear? Well, that's a good question. Um, we don't even want to contemplate that. It's all there. <laughs> I mean, it's it, never, there. it never goes away. There are millions and millions of messages. That's in, a lot of history. <laughs> yeah, we have a nice archive there. It, it keeps a full record of, you know, the ups and downs of the groups. So, um, oh, yeah. yeah. It's good as long as it's there. Yeah, I, and we tried Google Groups, didn't we, at some point? But uh, there wasn't yeah. any bandwagon to get it get on it and get going. Yeah, on it. yeah, some things just have traction, you know, because you're using them. I, I like Google Groups when a, yeah. a group comes along that's using Google Groups. I like it quite a lot. And I like the website so that you can set up in Google Groups and tie them in with your group. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm impressed, you know, with, uh, you know, you can, you can set up a portal that's a lot nicer than the Yahoo Groups portal. And you can do your, your threaded discussions. And actually, Google Groups is kind of better, but you know, you just have to shift over to the next latest thing all the time. And if Yahoo Groups is working fine, then uh, you know, then it's got the community there. That's the important thing. The uh, you know, if your community is there, then that's where you want to be. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's just got so many little functionality things. Like I use the calendar in our moderators group to uh, tell everybody about what's going on and it just it just uh, sends out messages and sends out reminders and I don't have to do anything uh, once I set it up in December so yeah. I'm curious are any of the sessions doing anything with Facebook are there any EVO Facebook groups this time around you know the coordinators were using Facebook for a little while and and then it just got too inconvenient because it was so easy to use the Yahoo groups email and, and uh, get answers quickly there 
you have to go to Facebook, whereas Yahoo Groups it pushes it to you. So it's another little advantage. And yeah, you can you can have Facebook send you a message, but I couldn't get a Daily Digest. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sandra, go. That's what I was going to say. Um, as a mentor for the Personal Learning Networks, that I definitely we thought, oh, let's use Facebook, and we started a group amongst us with the moderators and yes there's there's no way to track try to find previous said topics like you can do with the Yahoo groups so you can um, basically go and look at the different by topic or you know the digest and the di you know Facebook doesn't allow that but I know some people can actually have a use it as a class um, and there's a way to set it up for as that but we're not using it either for our the personal learning network. But the coordinators have been using a Skype chat. Yes. Which, which is pretty awesome. Well, one, but Jeff, one time, one problem with the Skype is we're in all different time zones. So you know, if I want to get up at midnight or somebody else wants to stay up till three a.m., you can do a Skype. But you can't always make that arrangement work uh, if you're on different continents. Well, the things I like right. about the Skype group is the the balance of synchronous and asynchronous chat. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, you, if you have a question, you can throw it out there. If anyone is online, mm -hmm. it can be discussed. Um, and if not, when I wake up... If I'll anyone sort of, wakes up, they discuss it. The, the challenge for me with Skype chats has been the tangents. You know, if your focus is a certain, you know, planning thing, and then people start talking about non sequiturs, when I wake up, I don't have time to look through 400 lines of what people have for lunch. Uh, so they can get a little off topic. Yeah, but all, all of these things have their affordances. You know, I mean, if you, if you like multiple literacies, for example, it's rooted in Yahoo groups. Uh, that's where the, the chat tends to be. We, we used Ning for a while. Ning just imploded on itself because of its uh, corporate greed, I suppose. Uh, I mean, I, hope, I wish them well, but that's not what uh, uh, Mark Anderson uh, had in mind, you know, when he and uh, Gina Boncini, what's her name? I can't remember. Anyway, when they, they set it up as an open source uh, thing, so now it's been taken over and turned corporate. It just doesn't work as a community formation device anymore. And I, but, I wonder if we want to address Sea Dream, who's, I think, a little bit confused talking in uh, the Illuminate as far as what time are things? And okay, I've joined the Yahoo group, but what do I do now? Uh, well, yeah. Well, I, I was just saying that that there's this. Um, all of these things have their affordances. So, like multi literacies as a Facebook group, whether it gets used or not, people who are on Facebook use it. And if you're on Twitter, you you communicate with Twitter. If you're in the Skype chat, this has great affordances. So you you know the best thing to do is keep all of these things going, and uh, and be into many spaces. And maybe that's that's kind of an answer to. The question you just asked, Jeff. Uh, you know, you can well, sort of... my sense for the question was <laughs> she, just not quite an understanding of what how do things. What I do now? <laughs> yeah, like now yeah. you get a whole bunch of email. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you you're gonna. Your well, you should. Everybody should definitely check your syllabus, and the first week should tell you where you're gonna find the discussion topics and what's going to happen that week and who's going to be the moderator and so you know there's you should be able to follow the syllabus and if you look at the the call for participation again uh, I think you'll be able to see what you're supposed to do in that first week if you go to the wiki site because each each one of the the uh, sessions has a wiki site and that will say here's how you join the group when you join the group, here's you're going to get a message saying do this in the first week and so on. So we hope that that's all been been done in each of the syllabi. And if you're a moderator and haven't done that, we'll shoot you. No, we won't shoot you. But <laughs> check out your syllabus and make sure you can understand everything. And if you can't, email the moderators because their email addresses are all there. Don't hesitate to ask them. And one of the links that just got mentioned in our little Hangout chat here uh, is a link to uh, uh, Paperly. I don't know how we call, say that. Uh, uh, and I, I guess that's your Sandra's, and that's kind of a, a Twitter aggregation. Uh, do we want to mention tagging and uh, how to tune in that way? Oh, sure. Um, we're talking about the online educator. And let me just give the link again and illuminate. 
um, it's a Twitter aggregate where we have all of the moderators are tweeting about different activities and the hashtag is pound uh, 2012 Evo. So let me put this in here real big, real quick, sorry. Yes, thanks. So basically, if you want to find out what's going on, that's one way. It's actually a personal learning network uh, that I created and, and um, I have been learning so much from everyone, so I appreciate it. Um, so today's headline, for example, we've got Jennifer Vershoor and something from Vance that he tweeted about an international conference. So some things are not related to Electronic Village Online, but they're about online learning. Any questions? And, you know, using your Twitter tool, be it TweetDeck or whatever else, to keep an eye on 2012 EVO, I find to be a really useful way to see what's going on. Because, I, you know, I think one of the cool things about EVO is the convergence. And maybe you're in one session, but I'm always curious what's going on in all the other sessions. And, you know, participants and moderators will be using that tag and, you know, it lets you know what's going on, where and when. Yes, yeah, one exactly. of the, right. One of the things that's happened over the past few years as the communication media have become easier to access is the EVO sessions are starting to overlap in interesting ways. So one session will have a live uh, online session and invite other sessions to come and join them. And then that stirs up interest in the other sessions. And pretty soon we're having people going back and forth. So we're trying to aggregate all this stuff at um, uh, Vance's uh, Learning Together space and just make that a, a weekly sp uh, time when everybody can get together and uh, join in whoever is speaking. And Vance, I think, is trying to round up some of the moderators to get them to do presentations. Well. Um, yeah, Vance, I haven't really done that, that yet, but I will. Oh, yeah, maybe you can put that address up. <laughs> okay. Because I, I put that in our calendar. So everyone who's a moderator is getting a reminder of these Learning Together sessions from our Yahoo groups. You calendar. mentioned calendar. Where might one yes, find that? Calendar. Ooh. Well, the moderator's calendar automatically sends out messages to our moderators. And I've got a calendar in our wiki, but I haven't used it. <laughs> so it's up to the moderators to tell their participants that other things are happening on uh, online and that they they should pass on that, that information in their calendars. We hope that's how it's going to work. Anyway, uh, Vance is looking up an address here. Yeah, he's got it up in Illuminate. So that learning together happens every Sunday at, um, what is it, Vance, 12 GMT? It depends. Uh, 12 GMT is generally about the time that I get started, but you know, it depends on who's putting on the session or what's convenient for the people who are uh, hosting it, you know, who are presenting or who are organizing it. So when Jeff does it, it sometimes it's at 1400 GMT, and um, today it was at 1300 GMT. Um, normally, well, noon GMT or 12 GMT, we uh, often might just go to tappedin.org and see, you know, just meet and text chat there. And sometimes it's its latest 13, uh, 1500 GMT. Depends on who's doing it and you know what they're willing to do. Well, speaking of times, uh, I really have to leave. <laughs> so I'm going to have to say goodbye to everybody. And uh, thanks so much for coming. I think it was a really interesting session. And thanks, Jeff, for, for sponsoring us and putting this on. It's been a nice collaboration over the years. And I hope we're going to do something together at TESOL in Philadelphia. Uh, sounds. I don't think I'll be in Philadelphia, uh, but uh, I'm always a click away. Hey, you can be there virtually. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm saying goodbye to everybody. Bye, Thanks Elizabeth. Thanks very much for coming. I'm, Thank you, I'm participants, for coming. Yeah, I'm hoping there will be some EVO Coolcasts coming up. Hmm. Uh, which uh, Coolcasts are webcasts that I've been doing um, and if you have to step away, Elizabeth, I, I won't uh, take offense. Uh, Coolcasts are some webcasts I've been doing about collaborative open online learning, not especially related to language learning, but just how all of these freely produced and shared materials can be used and how teachers can kind of um, adapt that to their, in their, into their teaching. Um, and I was going weekly for a while. I've 
been on a bit of a hiatus and my EVO availability is going to be a little spotty. I've got, I'm around for a couple of weeks, but then I'm going to be on the road for the, the final three weeks. Um, but uh, whenever possible, I would love to uh, do some cool casting, EVO casting, hanging out. Uh, and I would be glad to provide hangout support because I, I feel like these kinds of hangouts would be great study sessions for the different um, sessions, you know, because you've got this flood of Yahoo mail coming at you. You've got these weekly sessions that some people attend, some people don't. And I, I think people would be well served to just say, hey, I want to talk about last week's topic. I can hang out at whatever GMT and whoever is around and interested can join the hangout. And whether it's recorded or not, it's kind of a nice um, study hangout session. Yeah, I mean, there's this big, important change book going on right now. And the the cool casts are the heart of the of the MOOC, you know, I mean, they're they're where you um, where you actually meet people and you talk to people, whereas if the other ones are just recordings, basically. And um, as somebody said, uh, it's an easy uh, event to ignore, you know. And it's not like we ultimately want to ignore it. In fact, I'm going to build it into one week in my multiple literacies course. I think the third week, the networking week, we're going to just go to the MOOC and see what's going on there. But uh, the cool casts are, you know, I think Jeff's whole philosophy, you know, uh, making sure that conversations take place amongst educators. That's, uh, and, and he really gets some really good people uh, to come and talk to him. And, uh, and the thing is, EVO is just the, the most fertile ground ever for this because this really is the most global group I've ever participated in. Uh, just to, I mean, we really, truly global. And we have the common ground of, of language teaching. And uh, for me, I just, you know, I know kids today grow up talking to kids from all over the world and think it's no big deal. I will forever think it's a big deal that we are all in four different time zones in four different countries and talking like you were across the table from me. <laughs> Wearing your reindeer antlers. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, Jeff, uh, in, I don't know if David knows about Jeff or Sandra, but uh, Jeff has a track record, of, and he's a fame, he's, he's notorious or famous or whatever for uh, World Bridges, which is, you know, talk about uh, global and bringing people together. I think, anyway, what can I say? What, what, what can I say about Jeff? He's one of my heroes. That's, so anyway, and this is part of it. So I really like—I just really like being a part of Jeff's world, Jeff's network, and he—he he likes, I think, being a part of mine. And, I... and now David is in that network. That's so cool. Okay, well, great. Um, I got one question I'd like to ask before I sign off, and get to work. Um, setting all of this up. Uh, despite being a little complicated at the beginning, uh, is, is there any real cost associated to it? I mean, uh, set up a Google Hangout, um, what did you have to pay? Nothing. You need a computer uh, and a webcam and hopefully a headset. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm going to have to check out how this is done. A, a Gmail ID. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, so I you got, got, so it. You got your email accounts. You can yeah, hang out. To, to actually have a Hangout is really quite free, and I'll toss in my little Hangout guide here. Um, to stream it the way we're streaming it is more complex technically, and I am paying 47 cents an hour right now. I see. And I'm streaming it via still... Amazon server. Everything else is free. Well, it's because I have a lot of... Um friends that like to tutor and, and whatnot, and I uh, was wondering if uh, this might be a, a means for them to access their students without having to travel around too much. Absolutely. And we should mention, this is a normal Hangout. Uh, when you go to your Google Plus page and start a Hangout, at the little bottom there is an option to do Hangout with Extras, and that includes screen sharing. And I've used that to teach courses, and it's great because you want to do a class show and tell, okay, now show us what you're working on. It's really pretty high quality screen sharing and application sharing, and it's integrated with Google Docs and stuff. So 
Yay, Google. I mean, we still have a lot of students that don't have their own PCs over here, but um, there's a proliferation of internet cafes, and pretty much every computer comes standard with a camera. You, you walk into one of these cafes, and you can see people chatting through Skype or whatever, uh, video conferencing with friends all the time. So. Surprise, surprise, I, I never really thought Columbia would be able to get such um, affordable high speed. Simply put, I mean, if you look at the geography, we don't have a highway running to Panama. So everything's going by satellite or under water cable. And here I am in my house with four egg bandwidth, and I'm paying about the same price as my friends back in Canada. Wow. And looking sharp, it's a good connection. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, on well, that note. <laughs> yeah, this has been the EVO kickoff session for 2012, January 11th. And this is Vance Stevenson, Abu Dhabi, UAE, Jeff LeBeau in Pusan, Korea, and Dave Smart in, uh, that's right, Dave, right? That's right. David? That's right. Yeah, okay, Dave Smart in Columbia. Which, which city in Colombia? Uh, Barranquilla. It's right on the coast. Uh -huh. Living the life Sounds here cool. in the Caribbean. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, All right, we'll see you lot, online at the Multiple Literacy Course. Okay. Have a great evening, everybody. Thanks very much. Cheers.